Well, there are a handful of things in the bass fishing world that I am super passionate about, and this is one of them, and I felt like I was the last angler in the world to go ahead and try this, but I'm so thankful for the people that convinced me to give it a go, and that is putting braid on my spinning reels when using finesse presentations. And to be clear, that is a braid mainline to a leader, most often a fluorocarbon leader. There are several huge benefits, and that's what I wanna go over with you today. Number one is line twist is pretty much a thing of the past for me. I mean, it can still happen when you have braid mainline on a spinning reel, but I think in the last past two seasons, I can't think of one time where line twist was an issue. And if you've dealt with line twist with a fluorocarbon or monofilament uh, main line on your spinning reels, you know how annoying that it is. It can just blow off your spools and cause all kinds of problems. And one of the big issues is it reduces your casting distance by a lot. And when we're using finesse presentations, let's say a Ned Rig, for example, you know, the conditions are such where we need that distance. It could be a bluebird sky, we've got ultra clear water, whatever it might be, we have to separate ourselves from the fish. Well, if you're dealing with line twist, you're not going to get that same distance. You can throw these ultra light finesse lures so much farther with a braided main line. The first time I threw a Ned Rig on braid, I couldn't believe it. I was like, holy cow. I I probably easily doubled my distance, if not more, and that directly translates to more bites when we need these finesse type of presentations. The next one, and a lot of anglers would have put this one first, and that is the sensitivity. When you have a braided main line to some sort of leader, the sensitivity is just eye opening besides the fact that you're going to be able to decipher bottom composition so much better you are going to feel bites like you just couldn't possibly feel them before it is incredible and that also directly translates to way 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 more fish that you're going to catch especially in those tough days when we need those finesse presentations and they could just be barely nibbling at that thing, you're going to be able to feel it with a braided main line. And if you use a high vis braid like I do, you're going to be able to see it much easier as well. And the last couple of benefits are, have just really paid off for me again and again and again. And that is saving both time and money. If you use straight fluorocarbon on your reels, and I do on my crankbait setups, you know that it is expensive. Fluorocarbon line can easily be in the $25 to $30 a spool, and the characteristics of fluorocarbon are such that if you leave it on that spool for a while, the rigidity of it means that on a cast you may have it break off. If you've ever had a lure that you're casting out there and all of a sudden it just keeps going because that line broke off down in the spool, that is a characteristic of fluorocarbon that's been on there too long. Many professional anglers, let's say in their crankbait setup, swap out that fluorocarbon all the time. Well, you can leave braid on there way longer than you could have otherwise. This particular reel right here, I have not changed the braid on it since the beginning of last season. It's getting pretty faded and to the point where I do need to swap it out, but I spooled it up and that's it. Two full fishing seasons on this, which just saves an incredible amount of money. And the other nice thing is the time that it saves. If I wanna go up or down in my leader size, I just snip off that leader and then just change out that short piece of it, three, four, five feet, whatever it might be. Same thing, if you know it's nicked, I can swap out that leader really, really quickly. And speaking of connecting to the leader, there are a lot of great connecting knots out there. Personally, my favorite is the Red Phillips knot. Here's a video on it right here if you wanna check it out. And make sure that you go out and encourage someone today. You never know how you might just change their life. For the Bass Fishing Life, I'm your host, Steve Rogers.